In this demonstration, we're going to view a GV system from uh, an iPhone. So we'll start by going to the App Store and searching for GVI View. There we are. Clicking on it. We'll then select Install. Once the application has finished downloading, this can take uh, two minutes to five minutes to ten minutes, depending on your connection. You'll open the app called GVI View. The favorite name is just a name you'd like to give the host so that you can remember it. Enter your IP address of the DVR. Now, if you're trying to view this outside your office or your house, this will be your external IP address. The default port is 8866. Enter the ID or the username that you've set up to view this remotely and the password. Under image settings you have a couple different options depending on your connection speed and how many cameras you're trying to view. Clicking DVR takes you back. So then after you've done all that, click connect. This can take a little while depending on your connection speed. And there you have it. So you have uh, different panes depending on how many cameras you have. This is a 32 camera system, so we have multiple panes. Uh, you can click on an individual camera, stop and start recording. You can uh, rotate the screen to view them in a matrix that's a little bit larger. And rotating it back returns it to the regular view. Double clicking brings up a full screen view. When rotated to the side, it expands the full screen. You have some different controls available to you. You can take a snapshot you can uh, trigger an I.O. alert if you have I.O. connected. If you have PTZ controls on that camera, you'll be able to click on this top icon here and use the PTZ. By clicking and then returning to multi-view, up here, multi-view, you can return to the matrix. That concludes our demonstration.